Hey, what's going on, guys? Doom here. And uh, this is going to be my part two of my in depth trap code form tutorial. Uh, there's probably going to be a third part as well, uh, just kind of because I kind of like to make these long and, you know, explain, you know, a lot of stuff and uh, not rush them. Um, so. Uh, first off, I want to say make sure and watch part one if you haven't watched that yet. Um, it'll explain kind of where we are now, and so you're not lost or anything. So go ahead and watch part one. Uh, there'll be an annotation at the top left of the screen. It'll open up in a new tab, and this video will pause, and then you can come back to this when you're done. Uh, so what we're um, making is basically we're I showed you how to um, use trap code form and kind of do this sort of thing. Um, how to just kind of get the basics down and then uh, today I'm going to be going over uh, kind of how to make it different colors and how to get the flares in here and kind of just making a whole scene out of it so uh, yeah let's get right into that so I'll, I have my base trap code form that we left off with last time um, so you should know how to do this make sure and watch part one I'm not going to go over it again so uh, I think the and I do want to cover I just want to make sure and say that trap code form and all the trap code plugins you know the third party plugins you're gonna to have to find your own way of getting them I'm not gonna tell you how to get them I'm sure you can search YouTube and find it and also I'm gonna be using things like uh, optical flares from video copilot and stuff like that so um you know you'll have to find your own ways of getting those uh, I can't really tell you how to do that um, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to make this multicolored. So if you've ever worked with uh, Trap Code Form before, you know you can go into Particle and you can change the color, you know, make it red or whatever. And uh, But that that doesn't allow a lot because it just gives you um, one color, you know, and you might want to make it multiple colors or whatever. So what you're going to want to do is go on to Google and just find, uh, like, say you wanted red and orange or whatever so just search red and orange wallpaper or whatever find something you like with a lot of color and everything for this tutorial I'm just gonna use this it's just a you know weird rainbow abstract uh, background and you're gonna go ahead and go into After Effects and you're gonna import that image so let me go ahead and import that there we go we got our image I'm gonna bring that down in the timeline and uh, I'm just gonna scale this up so it fits the entire screen oh my bad there we go and uh, after you've scaled it up if you need to or scaled it down or whatever go ahead and just turn that off so you'll, you'll be left with this again and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to select your trap cone form in your timeline you're going to go to effect you're going to go to layer maps and you're going to you're going to see something like this you're going to go to color and alpha and you're going to see layer none you're going to find that color thing that you put in here whatever it's called and you're going to click that and nothing's gonna happen. You're gonna change the functionality to RGBA, and then over right here, this is the most important part on map over. It's gonna be set on off. Just put it to X and Y, and now you'll see I've changed it. It's a multicolored thing. And now if you go in and you mess with the, what's my cat meowing? Sorry about that. <laughs> if you go into the fractal field, you can mess around with the displays and everything, and it's still all multicolored. So, you know. You can find some really cool designs actually on Google, and if you mess around with this, you can actually come up with some really cool stuff. Uh, you'll see when it's just straight like this, you'll notice some of the white coming through and everything. Um, I just kind of have it displaced a little bit right now, and you know you can twist this and do cool stuff with it. Um, so that's how you make it uh, multiple colors. Um, how I did the well, you can go in if you have your trap code form um, layer selected. You can go into Effect and you can go to Stylize and Glow, and that'll make it really vibrant. You notice it's glowing now; it looks really cool. And you can me uh, mess with the intensity and the uh, the radius and everything like that. So I'm just gonna leave it at default. I'm not gonna mess around with that, but feel free to mess around with all this stuff. Uh, just for time's sake, I'm just gonna leave that. And then if you go ahead and you go into Effect, uh, Trap Code, Shine, and you're going to notice everything's going to go away. You're just going to see this weird, you know, red shine coming out. Go ahead and go down to Transfer Mode and go to uh, Normal, and you'll see it pretty much goes away. You can kind of see it, and uh, if you boost the light up, you'll be able to see it more. There you go. And uh, 
So now you just got this, uh, you know, shine coming off. It's going to start off red like this. And if you go into your fractal field on your travel code form, you notice if you mess with this, the, f the shine moves with it, which is really cool. Sorry, that was, uh, oh yeah, that's what I wanted. So, uh, you know, it's a really cool effect. I did it in the Intangible 3 thing. So it adds a really cool effect. Um, if you want to change the colors, sorry about my fans, I have to say it every time. But I feel obligated to because they're really annoying. <laughs> uh, if you want to change the colors of this shine, you just go down here under the shine and uh, colorize. Uh, it starts you off on a three color gradient with white, orange, and red. Uh, you can change these colors. Uh, there's a five color gradient where you can change all five of these. Uh, there's also some uh, default or just like some presets that they give you um, of different stuff. You can go through and mess with those. One of those might even work with you. There's a cool purple and blue one. Uh, you can go to one color and just make it, you know, white or whatever you want. And, uh, you can also go to none, and it's just going to make it really white. Um, in my case, I'm just going to leave it white. I'm going to bring this way down. Bring it down to zero. There you go. And you'll notice it's the, if you if you select none on colorize, it'll be kind of the same colors. You'll notice it's kind of the same colors as the, uh, the background itself. You'll notice the whole thing kind of comes out at you. It's hard to see some of these darker colors. Um, you might be able to duplicate this glow a couple times. There you go to get it to show up more. Um, if you mess around with this boost, I'm gonna undo that real quick. If you mess around with the uh, the boost light on Shine, you'll notice it kind of turns everything white. That's why it looked white before. Uh, but yeah, if you have the color eyes on none, you'll get. You, it'll be the same color as whatever uh, your background is. So if, in my case, this is rainbow, and then you can mess with the ray length and everything like that. And if you want it to show up more, you can just duplicate this glow as many times as you want, and it'll just get brighter and brighter. So I'm going to leave it at two. I'll bring this down to like zero point two. whatever about half well you get the point you see it and everything so we'll leave it at that um, on the shine maybe make the ray length a little smaller that looks good good enough for now anyways so you get the point just go ahead and mess around with this stuff um, messing with shine and glow and everything like that um, see it I, I put the shine above the glow now and it looks really crazy so you know you can go in and you can mess with everything you can put it in between the two glows you know just go on and mess around with it. I, I say that every time, you know, just messing around with After Effects is how you're going to, you know, get really good at it and, you know, get really used to it. So I'm just going to leave this uh, like this for now. Um, so uh, if you want to add like flares and stuff like I did, um, what you're going to want to do is you're just going to go ahead and do layer, new solid, doesn't matter what color, just hit OK. And then you go to effect, video code pilot optical flares. Mine kind of takes a second to load. It's kind of a dick. I guess that wasn't too bad. And then uh, once you have this up, you go to options right here. And uh, you're going to have a, like a preset browser with a bunch of just presets that come with it. Uh, you can go through and pick any of these. I think I know which one I use on a Tangible 3 trailer. I think I can just use that one real quick. Just as an example. Uh, I believe I used this. Yep. And then um, you can go through and you can see every individual thing. You can delete it if you want. Like I deleted all these little green ones on mine. I'm not going to mess with it too much. I'm just going to pretty much leave it for now. I do want to get rid of that, but I don't really care. Because I don't know which one of these it is. But you can go through and mess with it and find what parts you want to delete. Maybe you want to delete some of this. Or you can also um, you can build a flare completely by yourself if you want to. So when you get in here you can just clear all, have a blank uh, canvas and go to uh, lens objects and you can just select these things and make your own you know do your own stuff with it whatever you want and come up with your own stuff or if you go ahead and go into the preset browser and find one you like like I said and then um, you can go into lens objects and maybe add some objects that you might want added to a, a preset, you know. So I'm just going to leave it like this for now. I'm not going to mess around with it, but, you know, you can mess around with it a lot. 
Uh, maybe I could do an optical flare um, in-depth tutorial and kind of show you how I make some of my flares. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. You're going to have this. You're going to change the render mode to either on transparent or over original. Sometimes over original is weird. I don't even know how it works. I always just do on transparent. So there you go. You'll see I have my flare now. And I'm going to go ahead and you can just move this around. Sorry if it's a little laggy. I'm going to put this under the trap code form. You'll notice it's kind of back there. It gives it a kind of a weird effect. I'm going to put it back above while I move it around. So I had it something like over here. And uh, I would mess with the colors and stuff. So, you know, it doesn't really look that great with the background I have going on right now. But uh, I had something like this. And then I think I just duplicated it. And then uh, I took the other one and put it on the other side. I basically just had something like this going on. And you know, I lowered the uh, the brightness on them and stuff like that, and I just messed around with them, and you know, just messed around with it until you get the desired effect. You could change the color of these flares. You can either do it right here, or you can go into options, and you can change each individual color by selecting it. So maybe you just want this glow change. You can change the glow color to green, maybe, or if you set these color sources to global and then the global colors right here and you go ahead and change the global color to whatever you want so I'll just make it a pink whatever okay and some of this is going to be set on global some is going to be set on custom so you can change them individually or you can go through and put them all on global and change it all to one uh, all you know all the same color or uh, you can kind of get this cool look of different colors stuff like that I'm just going to leave it at this you get the point uh, you can put these above or below the form depending on what you want it to look like I'm just going to leave it under just so it's not, uh, I'm going to lower the brightness on both of these to 50, something like that. And uh, um, on my uh, Valentine's Day intro, uh, the colors in the background, I kind of made like this colored background. I can show you how to do that. And uh, I can work on um, kind of camera movements and stuff like that. You might be wondering how I did uh, the camera movements on my Valentine's Day intro. I don't know how long this is right now, so I'm probably going to end it just because I don't want to drag it on forever. Um, I think on the next one what I'll do is I'll show you how to do uh, audio react. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, but you know I can get into it, kind of show you how that works. And then I can also do camera movement. So I think part three, I'll show you how to do cam uh, camera movements and audio react uh, to get some really cool effects. But uh, you'll see right now I still have this pretty cool moving, you know, hold on, I can even, I have this cool moving form, it has um, shine and glow on it, it's a pretty cool effect, uh, if you went in and made your own background, or you could even, it's not very hard to make the backgrounds, I, I know at first I was kind of, it's kind of daunting, but uh, you know, if you take a little time, you can make some pretty cool backgrounds, like on the Valentine's Day one or the holiday one that I did. Uh, I kind of like the backgrounds on both of those. I can show you how to do those. Um, and uh, just a quick couple things while this is uh, RAM preview real quick. Uh, I wanted to say that I respond to pretty much every comment on my tutorials that I make. Uh, I just like uh, talking to you guys and kind of hearing your feedback and everything. So. Feel free to leave uh, comments and stuff so I can talk to you guys. And you know, uh, like I said, if you learn anything from what I teach you, and you want to make a, um, you want to make your own little preview and upload it and uh, post it as a video response, uh, I will uh, comment on it and I'll accept the video response so everybody can see it and everything. Um, uh, the other thing is like live editing and stuff like that. I know a lot of people have been asking me to do more live editing. Uh, I announce it on Twitter or I'll do stuff on Twitter like I'll ask you guys you know like five retweets and I'll, I don't have a lot of followers so I can't do a lot <laughs> but uh, you know I say if like if I get five uh, retweets on this tweet I'll do live editing or anything like that so make sure and follow me on Twitter the links always in the description and also the people who make my desktop wallpapers are always in the description so make sure and check them out as well so you'll see it's kind of fast for my taste it's moving a little fast and everything and you know, I can show you how to make it a lot, um, a lot slower. Yeah, I kind of showed you that in the first one, just messing with the flow of it. Uh, if you mess with the in the fractal field, you go into flow evolution. It'll be on 50. If you put that down uh, a ways, you, it, it's a lot slower. 
And then you can go in and you can just mess with all this stuff. Like I said, you can turn it into just a bunch of particles and, you know, you can do a lot of cool stuff with uh, forms. So uh, in part three, I'll go over camera movements and um, maybe adding some text and, uh, oh, let's see. Uh, oh, and uh, audio react. I know that's a, that's a big one. So I'll, I'll mainly cover audio react and camera movements in the next one. So uh, I'm going to call this over now because I don't know how long it's going to be. I don't want it to be... Uh, too long so um yeah look forward to part three guys that'll be out in a couple of days and uh, until next time guys i'm out peace